hi guys welcome back to another video this is your local paint shop and i am shanice and i noticed that you guys really enjoyed the last haul that i did over the makeup right so i'm here to help y'all spend some more money no i'm kidding but i'm serious at the same time anyway anyway so i wanted to share with you guys some of my favorite brushes but i also wanted to um Wait a minute, what was I saying? Oh, I want to share with y'all some brushes that I always use all the time and they're also cost effective, okay? So I'm gonna tell you guys exactly where you can get these brushes and I'm also gonna link the name of them and um, where you can purchase them from. So if I can stop dropping them, this first brush that I have is by Real Techniques and it's like, it's kind of flat. There we go. It's kind of got a belly to it and it's kind of flat. This is a complexion um, brush. It's called the Seamless Complexion Brush. I really love this because I've really been getting into applying all of my complexion products with um, this particular brush and then just fine tuning um, with this brush by Bdellium Tools is the 785 brush. So it's super fluffy, but this brush is also super old. I need to get another one because it's starting to feel kind of rough when I shampoo it or clean it, should I say. Um, so yes, I'll use this brush when I'm trying to start placing my highlighting um, and my um, contouring. And then I'll still use this to kind of just blend everything so that I can have a seamless blend. One day I'll record a video of you of me showing you all how I use like two brushes for my complexion product, but mostly one brush. Then, oh, disclaimer, I really like small brushes because I'm one of those kind of people where I need to have control over my product. Um, so I try to use the smaller the brush, the better, um, not the better, but the more control that I have. So this brush right here, these brushes are wet, so that's why they're looking kind of weird. But um, this one is a Bdellium tool and it's a 762 brush. And this, you can use this brush for um, eyeliner because it's a synthetic brush. So it works really well with cream products. Um, or you can use it if you're um, doing like hair-like strokes. But this little daddy right here, look how tiny that is. Beautiful. Oh, I'm about to cook. So that's the oven going off. But anyway, so yes. This one is the 762 by Bdellium Tools. And I wanna add this in here. Um, these are Morphe brushes, um, Real Technique brushes and Eco Tools brushes, but I got put on to Bdellium Tools by going to a makeup class some years ago uh, from the makeup artist Alex on Instagram and she gifted some and I loved them so much that I started buying them for myself because they also said that those brushes are a dupe for MAC uh, brushes if you're into MAC brushes, but the cost is so much more better than a MAC brush. And then the Morphe brushes I got put on by my homegirl who does makeup. Her name it on Instagram is Simply SC Creations, and she's also doing makeup classes, just so y'all know. Hold on, let me go put my food in. Okay, y'all, I'm back. I had to cook my food while I'm doing this video because who doesn't love a multitasker? So, um, this brush is a Morphe 505 brush. It's, fl it's super fluffy. Now you can use this for your complexion products as well, um, but I've been using it for my eyes. It's super, super fluffy. But this one is slightly smaller, but um, more compact than this one, um, but it still blends out really well. This one is a M503 brush by Morphe. This is a beautiful detailer brush. Um, I really love going underneath the eye with it or in the corners, like to pack on a color before I blend it out. I've also been um, into like using this brush if I'm trying to define an eye shape, like how I have hooded eyes, it um, helps. Like if I'm trying to like, let me show y'all real fast. Like if I'm trying to go above the crease, I can actually take this and put the color down like where I need to put it before I start blending it. Not like a super harsh line, but enough to, you know, blend it out. You know what I'm saying? But yes, this one is super good for that. And it's the M508. 
This one is another brush that I specifically gotten to be able to do like the hair like strokes when I'm feeling brows and during makeup. And it's another Bdellium tooth. And it is the 760. It's super, super, super tiny and super fine. Like it's the best thing ever. Like when you're trying to really get in there and make those little hair like strokes or even when you're using, um, what is it? um eyebrow pomade stuff yes yeah, so like even if you're not into hair like strokes but you like to like be able to like draw the line or the shape of the eyebrow on this your girl right here baby right here poo right here look how tiny it is this you this you this little daddy right here i have not gotten to you wait i lie i have gotten to use this um but when I did a cut crease, and I'm not a big fan of cut crease just because it ain't my forte. I love them, but it ain't my forte. It's a 712 brush by Bdellium Tools, and it's a synthetic brush, I believe. This is a super tiny baby right here as well. Super good to cut the crease because of how fine that tip is. And you can also use this um, with cream and liquid products. Well, clearly because it says synthetic. Anyway, yes, and it's tiny. This one is a 763 brush. And this one I use like when I'm trying to conceal under the brow. I believe this one is, um, I think this one might be a blend, like a blended hair brush. I think I forgot to color the tips. Usually I color the tips of my brushes so that I can know like, you know, what's what. Um, but anyway, yes, this one, I use this one like a, um, to like conceal underneath the brow this one i love this so much it is the eco style I me mean, eco tools why am i thinking of eco styling uh, gel anyway it helps you because it says to define can it focus i think i don't know but this side is to define and then this side side is to shade this one is a little bit bigger than what i usually grab but depending on the eye um or how big the eye is, I can get away with using this. And of course, you know, I love an angled brush. Because this one, I use this under the eye a lot too. Then, ooh, child, let me tell you. These brushes, if I can't find this, I almost want to kind of sort of maybe possibly have a little panic attack. Because... I love small blending brushes, and this is the M506 brush. Super small, but super fluffy. Super small, but this is my jam. Like, I love small brushes, like I mentioned earlier in the uh, video. I love them, love them, love them. Um, but yes, this is the smallest blending brush I have ever seen. So anytime I ever see this brush in store, um, I always try to grab like at least two or three just because I love, 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 love this brush, baby. This one, if y'all ever want to give me a birthday present, right here. Next to perfume and candles, right here. This one is kind of like a packing brush, but it's kind of fluffy. It's, it's, it's interesting. Interesting, I'm sorry. So this one is the M503 brush by Morphe. So you see how it's kind of flat, but it's still kind of fluffy, which is interesting to me. Um, but yes, I've used this a couple times. Sometimes I'll even use this to like, um, if I'm trying to pack on a color, like after like I've tried to like define it just because it is kind of flatter, but round, I'll use that. Or if I'm using complexion products like a concealer, I'll use this brush like along the bridge of the nose just to kind of um, sculpt the nose a little bit more because it is like, like I said, it's kind of flat, but it's still fluffy. Then this little baby right here, I started using this um, and I love it. It is the 940 Bdellium Tools brush again. This brush is a little bit more fluffier than that, but because I just cleaned these brushes, they're kind of kind of hold together. But this brush, I use this to powder a face, especially like underneath the eye. Like if I'm like tapping the um, setting powder on or even if I'm sweeping, just because like I told y'all, I really, really, really like um, small brushes because it just helps me to have more control over the product. 
to some people, they think that smaller brushes kind of add more time to your application. To others, they may think it's about the same. To me, I don't know. Sometimes I'm slower, like if I'm doing a new look or if I just really am confused about which way I'm going with the look. But anyway, I love, love, love this brush. Um, Let me see if there's something else I forgot to show y'all. Be right back. Okay, so certainly not the least of the brushes, but the last one of this video is the 787 brush. I'm sure you guys are familiar with these kind of brushes. This one is a much smaller version than I've ever seen before. Um, I love it because I can use this with my complexion products. Um, I can do a lot of detailing work with this one. And if you're familiar with this kind of brush, I forgot the name of these kind of brushes, but you can actually be able to um, have more of a lighter coverage with this because even though it's fluffy, it's very light. So you're not gonna get a whole lot of coverage with a brush of this style, but you will be able to get what you need out of it. Like if you're trying to cover an area um, with foundation or concealer, um, you'll still get what you need because it's just so wispy because of the, hold on, can I show y'all? So because of like how the hairs, you see how fluffy and light it starts to get at the tip. That's why you won't be able to get so much cover. So if you need more of a full coverage, this ain't your brush boo. But if you want more of a, like a light or like a, um, heavier than light, but not full coverage, if that makes sense. This your boo. So this is the 787 brush by BDLM Tools. And I also wanted to give y'all a review, a quick one of the Cinema Secrets brush cleaner that I have purchased, which is also in my last vlog. Um, this stuff really, really works because all of my complexion products are cream. Some of them might be liquid, but majority of them are cream. Um, I just prefer to work with a uh, cream a lot of times and this helps you to get the um product out of your brushes really really well like i'll use this and then i'll still follow up with like you know um using a cleanser whether it's like baby shampoo or i'll use like dish soap um to be able to clean my brushes but i always follow up with this because it gets that product out there quick as i don't know what okay and um, a lot goes a long way, actually, because if you just dip your brush in there, you just see all the product just coming out of it quickly. So, yes, if you can be able to get this, you guys should get this, especially if you work with a lot of cream and liquid products. And I will say, too, because a lot of cream products, um, depending on the brand, is very highly pigmented. So it stains your brushes and kind of makes you think, like, is it really clean? This right here, because some of like my AJ Crimson and my Danessa Myricks and um, some of my Graftobian is very um, pigmented and it gets all of that out. So y'all need to get it. But I hope that you guys enjoyed these um, this brush video. Um, if you guys have any questions or if you have any um, of your favorite brushes that you would like me to try, let me know because if they small, I will love them and I will not have a problem with trying them. Oh, and let me know of any brands that you guys have tried that you actually love and you would like me to try as well. See you guys in the next video.